In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, the Cambion is described as a creature of half-mortal, half-devil lineage, typically with red skin, horns, and wings similar to those of several different types of devils. The word Cambion has changed over editions, originally meaning any half-human, half-devil creature, but now referring specifically to the result of a union between a mortal woman and a devil. In the game material, this specification goes on to say that the mortal woman dies in childbirth, leaving the Cambion to be orphaned either in the Material Plane or the Nine Hells, two places where their half-blooded nature is reviled, which tends to twist them into violent, spiteful creatures that wind up working for devils of lower stature or mortals of dubious nature. As a note, the result of a mortal male and a devil's union is an Alu Fiend, a creature that has not had an official stat block or update since 3rd edition. The Cambion has an AC of 19 and 82 hit points, with a walking speed of 30 and a flying speed of 60. They have excellent stats across the board, as well as a plus 7 to strength saving throws, a plus 6 to con saves, a plus 5 to int saves, and a plus 6 to charisma saves, all of which are uncommon on most monsters. They're skilled in deception, intimidation, perception, and stealth, all of which can be used to dupe players. They have resistance to cold, fire, lightning, poison, and non-magical weapon damages, which accounts for half of all damage types. They have the trait Fiendish Blessing, which adds their charisma to their AC. I'll touch on this more in a moment. They are innate spellcasters with a save of DC 14, and can cast Alter Self, Command, and Detect Magic three times per day each, as well as Plane Shift once per day on themselves. They have a multi-attack, allowing them to use their weapon twice or their fire ray twice. Their spear has a plus 7 to hit and deals 1d4 plus 4 piercing damage if held in one hand, or 1d8 plus 4 damage if used in both hands, plus an additional 1d6 fire damage. Their fire ray has a range of 120 feet and a plus 7 to hit, dealing 3d6 fire damage. They can also choose to use the Fiendish Charm ability, in which they choose a humanoid within 30 feet who must succeed on a DC 14 wisdom save, or else be charmed by them for one full day. The target can repeat the saving throw only if they are harmed, or if they receive a suicidal command from the Cambion. Other than this, they must follow all orders. As with most creatures that have a Charm ability, I would use the Cambion's Deception Skills and Alter Self spell to hide them from the party, observing them so they can select the least wise party member for their Fiendish Charm. Assuming that this is successful, I would have the Charm player flee, or otherwise take themselves out of combat without being harmed, so as to not break the charm. I would then have the Cambion reveal themselves and fly 60 feet into the air to avoid melee players. From there I would use the command spell as crowd control. This way I can order players to freeze or drop their weapons, and then use fire ray to blast ranged players from the air, prioritizing spellcasters who are the highest danger to the Cambion. Should the Cambion ever be grounded, I would use the spear attack instead, as they have a higher damage potential than the fire ray. If I wanted to give my players an extra challenge, I would leverage the Fiendish Blessing trait from earlier to the Cambion's advantage, giving them plate armor which has a base AC of 18, and then adding their Charisma mod of 3 on top. Pairing this with a shield gives them a total AC of 23, and allows them to use their spear one-handed, resulting in a near-unhittable tank that can fly, cast spells, and shoot fire beams at ranged players. If you wanted to be really mean to your players, or surprise higher-level players with a tough Cambion fight, you could also give your Cambion plate armor of plus 1, 2, or 3, a ring of protection, or other magical items that further increase their AC and slash or their damage output. If the battle swings in your player's favor, I would have the Cambion use Plane Shift to try and escape and if stopped, fight to the death. In European mythology, the term Cambion is used to refer to the offspring of an incubus, succubus, or other demon with a human being, and it reached its height of popularity in the 1800s. In the earlier days of use, it appears as though the word was used interchangeably with changeling, but as Catholicism spread across the Celtic world, the terms were swapped. The origin of the word comes from the 13th century, when William of Averne described Camions as children swapped at birth with demons, or as the children of an incubi and a human woman. This and other writings about half-demon children were the focus of great debate in the Middle Ages, as several religious texts asserted that demons were incapable of reproduction, while others went into great detail about the different processes. In comparing the myth to the monster, we find that the earlier versions of Cambions in D&D are closest to the myth. Cambion was used as a blanket term for half-fiend in both. However, in 5th edition, the Cambion is a very specific creature with specific lineage, and is a vague, loose category of devil no longer. If you enjoyed that video, consider giving it a like and giving me a follow. And for more of my videos, you can find me on Twitch, at Moglaroo, YouTube, at Moglaroo Streams, and TikTok, at Moglaroo Streams as well.